NCAA championship this past Memorial Day weekend. Take away by the... Well, that's a nice... That's a nice pass by Coco Ziello there to pick up the ball and get rid of it so quickly. Here comes Mr. Watkins, if I'm not mistaken. That's Nate Watkins. He is the head lacrosse coach at Whittier College. As the Dragons general manager here, Doug Locker, had that job for 21 years and did it very well. 293 wins and 72 losses, and he helped Nate get that job. Nate Watkins was a Dragon last year in the last couple of years. Great, great midfielder between the lines, as we like to say. Oh, what a hit. They're pounding. All right, well, yeah, we have a man There's a down dragon here. down, yeah. and he's not getting up. This was a violent check. And now popping up slowly. Still can't see who it is. Oh, I think it's I, I, I think it's um, our our captain, Eric Martin, the the captain. Excuse wow. me. Wow. Yeah, Eric Martin. What a check by Watkins on his former teammate. Well, he hit him and he drove him down. Lifted well, him right off the ground. That is legal contact within five yards of the ball. Lived with the shoulder, not with the stick. That well, was totally clean. It was just yeah, an amazing yeah. check by Watkins. He's a big guy, 6'4", 200. Uh, and he really popped. I, yeah, I'm sorry, Greg. I just saw a uh, little yellow parachute go up in the air here. Flag on that? Yeah, well, now, I think that um, that's referee Tom Sutton. You're a little and late to throw a flag now. He's a veteran. Uh, well, I think it's unsportsmanlike, and I'm pretty sure that that's what I saw. Both arms went out parallel. So I, something that happened after. Yeah, the game, not I, the check itself. No, not the you know, not the check itself, but after the fact. We're having a little discussion there. You can see he got one of the, in the grill. He got hit in the jaw. You can see one of the coaches there talking. It's Matt Palum explaining his side. He's saying he went into his yeah. into his chest. He may have been hit up high, but the the body did not go into the, the jaw area. Well, that was that was quite a check. No question about it. Violent hit, one of the most violent hits you will see. Now we have a dead, we have a dead ball situation here, Greg. So I think that uh, Denver's going to get the ball back without a faceoff. Although they have a rule in the in the major league game that everything starts. No, no, that's right. We're going to Denver's going to get the ball automatically. San Francisco's a man down. So the Dragons are a man down. Yeah. See what happened was the dra somebody had complained. Somebody came to Eric Martin's defense. Co correct. The officiating crew after Martin got completely leveled. And they're still talking about it in front of the bench there. Well, now, see. well, now let's see how the Dragons react yeah, here. Typically, yeah. in any sport, there's a uh, retaliation for a hit like that if they, if they don't feel like it was a clean hit and the officials didn't take care of it themselves. That was Tom Slate right there. He was just talking to uh, referee Tom Sutton. And uh, they're still trying to figure this out here. Now, here we go. Well, they're on they're on an extra man situation. Yep. It's a six on five attack for Denver. So after that vicious hit on Martin, the Dragons have to kill a penalty. And Eric Martin himself is on the field. And he is one of the hardest, hardest hitting players in the league. So look out. And he knocks it away from Langtree. He's such a competitor. And here he is. He's coming such across a competitor. Midfield. You better stop Langtree yourself. He may take it all the way in and score. He puts it on goal. Schwartzman, an easy save. We have an offsides, Greg. We can offsides on San Francisco. Denver's ball, but it's going to be outside the box. You can see it over there. Remember, they're still on the extra man. The yep. uh, outlaws are up eight to three. Mm -hmm. There's Jeff Sonke. 2 3 1 here for Denver on the men up. They're going to work it around the outside. Westervelt throws it up top to Langtree. Back to Westervelt. Low to high. Nice save there by Matt Malone. This thing about Denver, I've, I've seen them do this before. They don't really use a lot of rotation. We're even up now, Greg. They don't really use a lot of rotation on their men up. Like, well, I guess Westervelt just stuffs it in. They left Westervelt completely by himself. They, they, they do this, what I, what I refer to as, as